So you guys want to have this misty look without actually having a mist filter, right? Look at this, this is the before and this is the after. Now I was able to achieve this using the Photoshop action by Black Tire Media, Joshua. Now if you guys are not following Joshua, have a look at his work, amazing work, amazing prints and amazing action, uh, Photoshop action. I'll leave a link to uh, his account in the description below, but also he agreed to give you guys a 50% discount on this action. Um, that brings it down to $5 uh, using Mosey50, I guess. I'll also leave the discount code in the description below. Make sure to check it out. All right, so using the Photoshop actions, pretty straightforward once you have it installed. In my case, it's here, the panel setting down here. You just select the action that you want to run and run it. And I'll go by the default, by the way. So I'll just click OK. If you want to control the intensity up from here, you can do that, but I'll just keep it as a default because I like to control things with um, other methods. Let me show you that in a bit as well. So I'm gonna click OK. And I'm just going to select these two layers that has been created, have been created, and I'm going to add them into a folder, group them in a folder. So this is the before, this is the after. Now the effect is pretty intense and strong. If you like it this way, that's up to you. If you don't, you can control it from the opacity. That's one way of doing it. I like to drop the opacity of that. But also, let's say you don't want it to affect the shadows or the darkest areas in your photo. And I'm going to double click on the layer or the group. And that brings up layer style. Now, what I'm gonna do is press option on Mac and I'm going to drag this. Let me show you so you guys can see it. So you can see that now it starts, you know, affecting, um, removing the effect from the darkest area of the photo. I'm just gonna say, okay, I'll leave it here. Like, okay, that's it. So this is the before, and this is the after. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's go to the other shot. So this is a photo that I took in Visby, Sweden. Such a beautiful place using the Fujifilm uh, X100V. Now I'm going to do the same thing, right? So I'm going to select the action. I'm going to run the action. I'm going to say, okay, let's go with the default. And I'm just going to group these. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to delete the layer, but anyway, I'm just going to group these um, shots and I'm going to drop the opacity somewhere like this. I'm going to do the same thing that I did. I'm going to Looking at the shadow, so this is like the darkest um, area. So if you see this before, this is the after. I'm just going to try and remove it like smoothly, something like that. I like that. Before, after, before, after. Now, here's an additional thing for the channel members. I've been playing around with creating LUTs. So far I've created four categories for the LUTs. I created the cinematic, I created the faded look, I created the F1 and the um, vintage look. While these are experimental, I really like how these are coming up. And these are going to be available for the channel members only. I'm going to drip them about, well, from now on until the end of the year, because there are a lot and I'm still uh, working on them. So this is the before and this is the after. Look at, um, you know, this is the cine pack, one of four cinematic um, LUTs that I have created. Um, you're gonna enjoy these. Now again, this is going to be available for the channel members. These guys are awesome. They've been with me all the way, although I haven't been posting a lot, but as a token of appreciation, uh, this is going to be available along with all of these that I've been um, sharing, been sharing the rows of the shots. So if you're interested, please go ahead and subscribe. And um, well, if you guys are also interested in knowing how I edited this shot, uh, please let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'd be happy to create a quick walkthrough of how I edited this photo. Well, we've reached the end of this tutorial. Um, it was a quick one. This is a really nifty Photoshop uh, action pack by Joshua Black Tire Media. I've been using it with my shots. Very subtle, but it adds a lot in my opinion. All right, that's it for me. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.